There are many ways to check for a right click with command blocks. In this video I'm going to show you the carrot on the stick method. I'd say this is probably the most commonly used method and certainly one of the simplest. All you need is two command blocks and a scoreboard. Let's start by making the scoreboard. So scoreboard objectives add and then we can put the name, I'll just call it uh, carrot stick. The objective we want is minecraft.used colon minecraft dot carrot on a stick. There you go. And we've created our scoreboard. If we set the display for this scoreboard to the sidebar, you'll see that every time I click the right click the carrot on a stick, the score increases by one. The first command block is going to do three things. It's going to check for the scores of the objective. It's going to check for the item in the hand of the player. So we're going to have a custom tag on our carrot on a stick. And it's also going to run the command that we want to run. So to do this, we're going to use an execute command. Run it as all players with the selectors scores equals and then carrot, uh, no, not carrot, carrot stick equals one and then two dots to make it uh, any value greater than one. And then also uh, check for the NBT of the player for the selected item. So the NBT is going to use the selected item. Since we're using a custom tag, we need to put tag uh, and then we can just use the tag custom tag and then give it a value of one. Oh, that's the wrong bracket. There you go. And then we're just going to run any command. So this is the command that you'd want to trigger. I'll just use a tell row command so that it comes up in chat. So then tell row A and then just put hi. So we're going to have this command always active and on repeat. So now you'll see that even though our score is greater than one, it's not doing anything when I hold the carrot on a stick. That's because this carrot on a stick doesn't actually have the custom tag. So we're just going to do slash give at P carrot on a stick and then add the custom tag called custom tag and give it a value of one. There you go. And now if I hold this, it spams high in chat. The second command block is really easy. It's just resetting the score. So we're just running scoreboard players uh, set all players uh, carrot stick zero. This one's really easy because you don't actually need to have a selector on it. Make sure it's set to conditional so that only triggers after the first command block is triggered and of course always active and chain. What this will do is that every time this bottom command block is triggered it'll reset the score for all players so if I hold the item there you go it says it once in chat and it's reset our score so if I right click now it'll say hi and it won't spam it it'll only do it whenever I right click. And there you have it the easiest way to detect right clicks with command blocks.